helps visualizing physical spaces clearly and accurately, which is important for planning, logistics, architecture, real estate, or facilities management. In this video, we'll look at how to create floor plan diagram in Microsoft Visio. Coming up, an online training for everyone. There are multiple floor plan diagram templates available in Microsoft Visio. If you type floor plan into the search bar, you see office layout, home plan, floor plan, and a lot of other diagram types. The good thing about selecting office layout or home plan layout templates is that it allows you not just to design floor plan, but also add a furniture onto your floor plan diagram. For example, in office layout template, you will end up with multiple stencils. You will see walls, doors, and windows stencil, as well as stencils for office furniture and office equipment. The easiest way to start building floor plan diagram is to just drag the shape right onto the diagram. Visio provides room shapes where you can drag the entire room into the diagram. Visio displays dimensions of the room so you can adjust the size based on your need. And size of the room on the diagram changes as well. You can also add doors and adjust the door sizes as well as door location, as well as windows onto your diagram. Typically, floor plan diagram represents a diagram of the room or a building viewed from above. There are many benefits of floor plan diagrams. They help design and build homes. They also help design furniture layout, wiring systems, and a lot of other things and with the right design, increase happiness and consumptions of the living space. Quality floor plan diagram also makes living space more desirable. A lot of times, it is also used as communication tools to do remodeling and additions to the living space. And last but not least, it is extremely valuable tool for real estate agents and leasing companies to help sell or rent out living space because it provides communications to buyers and sellers as well as the measurements of the living space. Each object on the diagram allows you to access additional properties for this particular object. For example, there are four objects in this particular diagram. There is a room object, which if you do a right mouse click, allows you to access properties for this room. This is useful because if you're trying to set specific dimensions for the room, you have ability to set widths and lengths for the room right here in this dialog box. Different objects on the floor plan diagrams possess different features. For example, if we do a right mouse click on the door, we can reverse door in and out openings. We can change display options of what we're showing on the diagram, and we can add additional options for doors, walls, windows, and spaces. And if we're not happy with our selection or change, we can always do Control-Z or use the Undo button. Windows on the diagram have very similar set of properties as the doors. You can reverse in and out opening and you can reverse left and right openings, as well as to set display options. You can also give title by double-clicking on a particular object and typing the title of the area or the name of the particular object. So what are some important considerations when you're working on the floor plan? One of the very important questions you might ask yourself before starting to work on the floor plan is, what is this floor plan for and who is the target audience? Some of the typical uses of the floor plans might be architectural floor plan, where you just show the dimensions of the area and how area is going to be used. You might also use floor plan to show home layout or office layout. If you're trying to depict an existing floor plan, you might want to consider get the sizes of the objects and capture their proportions. It is very easy to add additional objects onto the diagram as you're progressing with your design. You just need to drag an additional object and snap it into existing object. You might also consider expanding your floor plan differently. To do that, we will delete the room that we just dragged into the diagram, and I'm going to use it by clicking the delete button on the keyboard. Instead of building space room by room, we will use this room shape from Microsoft Visio to define external dimensions of our structure. You can start defining the walls by using the wall shape. To do that, you just need to drag the wall shape and snap it into the position. Once you have wall shape selected in Visio, you can drag it by using the circle in the corner and it will snap it into position and will help define the areas. As you can see, if you drag it slowly, 
Visio shows grid line. In this green grid line, this is a horizontal location and positioning for the wall. There are multiple ways to define openings in between the rooms. You can define openings like what I have right now by shortening the wall in between two living areas. Or if you have the entire wall defined, you can also add the opening right in the middle of the wall. After opening is in place, you can adjust the sizes for the opening. Because now our room has two purposes. We cannot define the name of the room by just giving the title to the room. We would have to give title to each individual area. You use it by using text tool in Microsoft Visio. You select the text tool and start typing. For example, you can call the living space on the left as living area. And if you're happy with the title, you can just drag it and position in the right location in the living area. You can copy and paste the title and give the name to another area. Or you can define the new title using the text tool. There are certain items you might consider including into your floor plan diagram based on what you're trying to communicate. In addition to defining external dimensions for the area, you might want to consider include internal walls and hallways. You might consider showing restrooms, windows and doors. In addition to defining dimensions, you might also consider showing appliances, for example, stove, refrigerator and other appliances, as well as fireplaces, saunas, pools and other objects. And what is also very useful on the floor plan diagram is showing the purposes of the rooms, as well as their dimensions. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You will also have an opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If this video was helpful, consider giving it a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this and we'll deliver to you in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.